Daddy. I'm recording this. So. Okay, just look at the camera. Hello, folks, and welcome to the Red Beaver and the Mole Outdoors. I'm the Red Beaver. This is my little daughter, Emily. And we are down in Moore County, North Carolina. It is July 22nd, 23rd, somewhere in there. Maybe 23rd. And it is hot. We came down here from Greensboro. We were going to put some stands up this morning. But we just determined since it's the hottest day of the year with a heat index over 100, we're going to do that another time. But I thought I'd take this moment to give you a little tour of the farm. This is my cousin Howard's house behind us. He actually lives in Tennessee now. But he is kind enough and gracious enough to allow Emily and I to come down here and spend our weekends. And we love it. What do we do down here, Emily? Fish. Yes, we walk around. We have a good time. We get to visit our family. This is where my family is from. I grew up uh, spending my summers down here. This is where I learned to fish, learned to hunt. So it's pretty much where it all started for me. I just way back, way back when, used to come down here and spend time with my grandmothers. Ride four wheelers, three wheelers, no helmet. Used to hang out with my cousins who are like my brothers and just having a good time. What a great playground for a kid. But anyway, come along. We'll take a look inside the house and talk a little bit about the history of the house, who used to live here, and the good times we used to share with family and friends here. Thanks. Okay, that's so weird. Just hunting and fishing. That's the life we're missing. Just hunting and fishing. Red beaver and the mole line doors come along. <laughs> All right, folks, welcome back to the Red Beaver and the Mole Outdoors. Here we are taking a little tour of the inside of the house here at my uh, cousin Howard's house. This very old house built way back when. And just gonna look around, here's some pictures behind me of relatives, and there goes my phone ringing. Horrible timing. Anyway, we'll walk into the kitchen. Let's see who's calling the Red Beaver. Uh, unknown. Telemarketer perhaps? Bye bye. Anyway, here we are in the kitchen. And you can tell this is rustic, this is old stuff. Look at that stove right there. That's 1940s, if, if not sooner. Anyway, we go back, looking all around. Sorry, I'm trying to move the camera. I know it might be shaky. But check this stuff out. This is all side room. A lot of history here. Look at the furniture. Old cabinet here. Just a lot of history. Look at that old sewing machine there. Old fan. And come on, let's go upstairs and see some cool stuff. It's gonna be hot. But anyway, this is like a step back in time. Step up these stairs. Woo! Watch my hand. Emily, you coming up with me? Yes. Come on. All right. Woo, it's hot up here. Check this out. Old bedroom, old iron bed. Look at the trunk down here. This is just awesome, man. A lot of history up here. These walls could talk. I actually think there's some old messages on these walls where people actually wrote stuff. Let's see if I can find them. Man, check out the old fan back here. Check this out. Bet you don't see too many of those. That's actually a new plastic fan. Strike that. <laughs> oh, this filming stuff is something. Old Tommy radio. What do you think about up here, Emily? Is it pretty cool? Yes. What's that? You've been here before. You're not supposed to tell him by that. Okay, folks. That's sort of the upstairs here at Uncle Howard's. What we're going to do, we're going to go back down because it is burning up up here. And we'll take a look around at some other stuff. Come on down. Woo, feels a lot better down here. But anyway, this is where I come down and stay in November. Sometimes stay for a week and hunt. Got the place to myself. It's set off the road by about a mile. Let me shut this door, sweetie. And uh, it's just so nice of my cousin Howard to allow me to come down here. I remember sitting in this living room right here, living room slash bedroom, and 
sitting in front of this old gas stove and just playing my banjo, making music here, having a good time. So a lot of good times here, a lot of history here, folks. This is an old house. Um, just a lot of memories. I want to show you another gentleman who was important to me. Wait, wait, Daddy. If I can get him. Well, not working out too well. Anyway, I think Emily wants to say something, folks. What do you want to say? Who's that? Oh, I am Mickey. Oh, I am. I Six-year-old daughter. A lot of imagination. <laughs> folks, I'm going to step outside again. Just give you a sort of a view. Can we show them where we fish? Emily wants me to show you where we fish. I don't know if you can see it. But if you look right behind me, there's a pond down there. Unfortunately, I think the pond's been fished out. A lot of folks who shouldn't be here are coming in here. But it's hard to watch a place when you don't live here. So that's one good reason for me coming down on the weekends. I think it's good to have someone here watching a place, make sure everything's safe, and just make sure there's no squatters, nobody's breaking anything. But look at this porch. Just look behind me. You can see the tobacco field. Sometimes they plant soybeans here. Uh, my cousin leases this out to a local farmer. We've got tobacco this year. Probably rotate it next year, we'll go story beans, and uh, a lot of wildlife around. Just some beautiful, beautiful country, and a lot of memories, like I said. Next time, we'll go look in the woods, figure out where we're going to put some stands. I have a good idea, but we're going to wait till it cools down, because it is just too hot. It would be absolutely miserable. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time on the Red Beaver and the Mole Outdoors. Well, thanks for coming along with us, Red Beaver, at the Mole Outdoors. You come on back and see us again. We'll show you, boys, just how to live outdoors. Red Beaver and the Mole.